I'm Jamie Costello with your WMAR 2 News update. More ATMs were burglarized here in Baltimore in the store front that they were attached to. It was just torn apart as you see right here. Here's a look at the 7-Eleven in Fells Point. The owners say the suspects used their car as a battering ram and then busted down one of the walls of the store. Look at this. And then they hopped out, stole money from the machines. In all, they got about $5,000. They swooped in as soon as the as soon as uh, the opening was there. I mean, they were in and out five to six minutes. I mean, literally like ripping the ATM out, throwing it into the van and hauling off. But this isn't the first time a 7-Eleven was hit. Back on August the 26th, the 7-Eleven on Falls Road in Hamden was also hit with the ATM being swiped. Uh, police recovered several ATMs dumped behind a vacant house in the city's southwest side. It's not clear if the same people are responsible for both incidents. As more of Baltimore's youth fall victim to violent crime, a local nonprofit is making it their business to engage the city's youth by a thread that connects all of us beyond the natural foundation. This is an organization that helps kids develop their musical gifts through music and producing lessons. The founder, Robert Levine, was born and raised right here in Baltimore, and he says giving young people creative avenues helps kids stay out of trouble and stay safe. Hopefully it sparks uh, a, a deeper interest in music so that they can um, take a deeper dive and see how they can explore music and use it for themselves to, to build their futures. That's our job as, uh, as we go through doors, opening up doors for those coming behind us. And he also adds that he wants to make programs accessible to as many kids as he can and that he hopes it'll help them find careers and interest. For information on how to get your child involved with the Beyond the Natural Foundation, we have a link on our website. That's WMAR2news.com. And I'm tracking lots of sunshine as we start off your morning. Going to be a warm start to the day, climbing into the upper 80s through the afternoon. A few clouds trickle in late day, but I expect most of your Wednesday to be dry with showers and thunderstorms building late tomorrow evening. Temperatures, well, we're going to reach the upper 80s, low 90s for daytime highs, and then we're cooling behind this cold front. Unfortunately, clouds and showers linger Thursday into Friday. A few showers likely on Saturday, drying out for Sunday as highs aim for the upper 80s through next Monday. All right, click with us online at WMAR2 News com for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.